Hey guys, Lynn Andrew with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Staples Center for the greatest show on earth, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey's. They have partnered with Habitat for Humanity for Built to Amaze. I mean, it's amazing. There's gonna be celebrities, there's gonna be animals. I might do a few tricks for you, so come on, let's go check it out. Hi, how are you? Linda with Red Carpet Report. So, Habitat for Humanity and the circus. Is this your first time at the circus? No, we were here last year, right? Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Uh, at the circus? At the circus. Because you were good the at the elephant. <laughs> the elephant? If you put lambs in the circus, she'd be really much happier. <laughs> oh, lambs are your favorite? Uh-huh. <laughs> Excellent. So Habitat for Humanity, such an amazing cause. Is that what brought you out tonight specifically? You know, we're big supporters of Habitat for Humanity, we always have been, and, and, and it is an amazing cause. So it's what's really great for us is to be here in this amazing tradition, 100 years of circus, and being able to support such an amazing cause. For us, it's a perfect, perfect day. So what can we expect uh, on your show? What can we expect? Oh, so give our good. viewers, I mean, I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to give a blanket statement. Um, we actually filmed the reunion yesterday, so that's why my eyes are being open with toothpicks right now. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty interesting season. Last year I was a newbie and I didn't really know what to expect because I'd never watched the show before. This year I had more of an, did you say thank you? Thank you. This year I had more of an idea of what to, what to expect, but it was very interesting to me how allegiances changed and friendships really we're made and we're broken. So I think the audience is going to be very interested. And the reunion is off the hook. So uh, people really need to hang in for that because they're going to be shocked. Now, do you feel, how does it feel to be in the spotlight all the time? Has it changed your relationship at all? Has it brought things to light at all? Much better restaurant tables. <laughs> I think it's hard to be on a reality show. You know, I came from... A, I was an actress, I came from a scripted world, and reality television you know, really polarizes what's going on in your home, and you you know, the audience sees a piece of what's going on with you, and it's very stressful to think that every single thing that's coming out of your mouth, you have to be accountable for, because we're humans, you know, we all say things that we regret, and it puts you on edge. So, you know, it definitely put stress on our relationship this year, as you know, the, the viewers saw. But, you know, the good thing about us is that we have a solid foundation. We're very grateful and we're blessed. And I was glad that we were able to show people that just because you're on a reality show doesn't mean that you have a fight and you get divorced. You know, you make up, you are adults, and you work through it and you move on. And see, we're good. Mm -hmm. Aww, I love it. Well, have an amazing night. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. You too. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Okay, I'm about to do an amazing trick for you. If you like it, leave a comment. Okay, here I go.